Hello and welcome to Credit B presents RCB 12th Man TV. 216 runs in the first game and 458 in the second. The contrast between a bowler's paradise and a run fest could not have been more chalk and cheese. But the only stat that matters is that it is 2-0 to the men in blue as they clinch yet another T20i series. Everyone who came out to bat for Team India contributed handsomely. A batting display that came right out of the perfect script meant India put on 237 on the board, a total that the Proteas fell short of despite fireworks of their own. What will be Team India's takeaway from the 16-run victory? Here are our top three. KL Rahul and Rohit Sharma give India a dream beginning. The contrast between the surfaces at Tiruvananthapuram and Guwahati was evident in the final scores, but the 250s from KL Rahul were equally telling. It took him 56 balls to reach the 50 in the first game, and he only needed 24 to get there at Guwahati. The approach was to go after the bowling without wasting any time, and the boundary of the first ball of the game was an indication that KL was in the mood. A skipper was not too far behind in keeping the scoreboard racing. 96 for the first wicket within the first 10 of the innings. That's as good a start as India could have hoped for. These are really nice, bro. Thanks a lot for the gift. <laughs> Credit B. Loans anytime, anywhere. At number 2, Virat Kohli and Sky light up Gowati. Captain Rohit Sharma says he's considering not playing Sky till the 23rd to keep his form intact. Can anyone argue against it? 61 of just 22 against a bowling unit of South Africa's calibre. And now the fastest to 1,000 runs in terms of balls in T20 internationals. No tactic really makes a difference to you when you're Surya Kumar Yadav in this form, does it? Virat Kohli at the other end threw a couple of punches of his own with a 28 ball, unbeaten 49. A strike rate of 175 can hardly be considered second fiddle. Finished off by DK with yet another cameo, the men in blue had all the right answers on how to construct the perfect T20 innings. And at number one, Ashdeep strengthens his new ball reputation. He hasn't quite hit his strides at the death, but Ashdeep is slowly making it talk with the ball, with the new ball in particular. If a three-wicket over in the first T20 I might have been chopped down to the green track, making two crucial inroads again in the first over in the run chase put a spanner in the South African works in the second. A power play scoring rate of less than 8 in over thanks to Arshdeep's wickets and some tight bowling from the other end by Deepak Chahar and Ashwin meant despite Miller's onslaught, 237 was a bridge too far for the visitors. While there was a threat of rain in Guwahati, all that could put a pause to the game were snakes and faulty floodlights. And boy, did the two batting units put on a show. Death overs might still be a concern for the men in blue and one they will quickly need to find a fix for. With the first ever series win against the Proteas in T20Is at home secured, will we get a clean sweep in indoor?